convicted Australian drug trafficker Chapel Corby has been released on parole after nine years in prison in Indonesia. Corby was ushered out of prison into a green minibus, as crowds of journalists waited outside the prison and scores of police stood guard, said an AFP journalist at the scene. Corby, now 36, was sentenced to 20 years jail in 2005. Last Friday, she was finally granted parole after becoming eligible 18 months ago. A huge media scrum was on hand as Corby, her head covered by a hat and scarf, was hustled out of the jail into a prison van to be taken to the prosecutor's office. She will fill in paperwork and be fingerprinted. The next stop will be the corrections office, known as BAPAS, where she will be interviewed further. Corby will then be free to go to the address she has nominated on her parole forms, the Qatar home of her sister Mercedes and brother-in-law Weir and Waiditha. The agreement says she must live there, but authorities say she can move elsewhere in Bali, provided she advises them of her new address. It may be necessary, given the number of reporters visiting Wern's home daily, and the fact that one of Corby's parole conditions is that she doesn't create unease in society. The traditional Balinese compound that's home to Wern's extended family is down a narrow clanway with a steady flow of motorbike traffic. Around the corner, on a bustling Cutter Street, is Wern's small surf shop, Cutter Boardroom which will sell a range of bikinis Corby intends to design while on parole. The former Gold Coast resident was arrested in 2004 for smuggling 4.2 kilograms of cannabis into Bali. Minister defends parole decision. The deputy to the minister who granted Corby's parole, Denny Andreyana, appeared on television to defend the move. He told Indonesia's TV1 that since 2004, only 15% of sentence reductions sought by prisoners on drugs charges had been granted. Australians holidaying in Bali were more relaxed in their views of Corby. Emily Lewin, a Perth student, said she had read the book Hotel K, about life inside Kerobok and jail, and believed Corby would have had a tough time. After nine years, and because even now she can't leave the house, I think that's long enough, she told news agency IAP. Oscar Gentner, a regular visitor to Bali from Albury in NSW, also wished Corby well. She's probably done her time and deserves to move on, he said. When Corby, 36, emerges from the prison's steel doors, she will be plunged into a media pack that has grown in size and excitement since last week. Corby's family members are expected to do all they can to protect her from the media. She's been reportedly suffering from depression for several years and emotional scenes are expected as she realizes her freedom after nine years behind bars.